Have you ever found that you need to perforate or cut an opening in a wall, but the door or window with the perforator is not located in the same file? For instance, if I zoom into my drawing here, you can see that the doors are cutting the openings in my core walls. Except where I have a concrete shear wall, and that is because the architect is locating the doors in his model, but the concrete shear wall exists in the structural model. The same is true for the elevator doors. So I'm going to navigate to my structural framing model where the shear walls are modeled. Basically, I need to create feature cuts in those walls that align with the door locations. The first thing I will do is turn on the architectural models of each floor, which are referenced here. Then, just to make it a little easier to see only the doors, I am going to change the level display for those references. And apply that to all views. In the active structural model, I will also display off the beams, just to make it a little easier to see what I want to work on. And apply that to all views. Now I'm going to use a tool which is on the Forms tab. Remember, walls are linear forms. From the drop-down, I am selecting a tool called Construct Opening. By default, the tool is set to cut the opening with a shape, but there is an alternative. I can set the method to Compound Cell, and then it will use the perforator in the compound cell to cut the opening. Now, this is one where you will want to watch the prompts on the lower left. Identify opening element. That means the compound cell, so I will select a door. Then I can accept or identify the next opening element. I will left click to accept. Then I can identify another opening element or right click to reset in order to continue. Then, identify the form for the opening. That would be the wall. And the opening is cut in the wall based on the perforator in the compound cell. Let's do that again. I'll select the opening element, left click to accept, right click to reset, then select the wall and the opening is cut. Now let's do the same with the elevators. This time, I will select both elevator doors, left click to accept, and then right click to reset, and then select the form. Both openings are cut in the wall. And I can do that one more time. Select two elevator doors, left click to accept, then right click to reset, and then select the form. I'll navigate back to the drawing, and now we can see that our doors and shear walls are coordinated. One thing to remember, though, is that since the door and the wall are not in the same file, the openings will not automatically update if the door is moved. Let's activate the architectural model from the drawing and move the door over by a few inches. Now again, we have a coordination problem with our structural shear wall. But now it is a simple fix. I will just activate the structural model this time. Select the Move Building Feature tool. When I select the shear wall, a green shape highlights. This is the building feature, and I can move it to align with the new door location. Deactivate the structural model, and everything is coordinated again.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.